All right, I'm gonna be going through this kata for today. It is a Python pro Python coding challenge. If we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of three or five, we get three, five, six, and nine. The sum of these multiples is 23. So eight, 14, 23. Um, finish the solution so that it returns the sum of all multiples of three or five below the number past 10. If the number is a multiple of both three and five, only count it once. Also, if a number is negative, return zero for languages that do not have them. Um, cool, I'm not sure about this part right here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this part. I'm guessing this is for languages that don't, can't process negative numbers, but um, I'm gonna try it without this part and see if I, I can get it to pass. So this is a problem that's pretty similar to like the fizz buzz problem, where if it's divisible by three, print fizz. If it's divisible by five, print buzz. If it's divisible by three um, and five, print fizz buzz. Um, so our test case is when it is 10, it should equal 20, 30. And our variable is number. So number equals 10. And then let's just loop through this for i in range number print i. So zero through nine. Um, I'd actually want to do one onto number. So cool. And then so first thing I want to do is this both three and five. Um, the order that you do this, I think, will be important. So if i divisible by three is equal to zero, and i divisible by five is equal to zero. Uh, to start, I'm just going to print the number, print i. Elif i divisible by three is equal to zero, or i divisible by five is equal to zero print i and to differentiate these so if i do this um i don't technically know which of these conditions it hit so let me explain these conditions so this is if i is divisible by three and i is divisible by five and this is if i is divisible by three or it's divisible by five so if it's either or so I'm going to say for this one, or I'm going to say for this one, it will be a little bit easier, three and five. And then this one will be three, four, five. So all these conditions were, um, let me get a little bit easier to read still, put a dash. So all these conditions were for the three or five, like let's say if I did 21, so now I have this, which is the three and five. Um, and I mentioned that the order is important earlier. If I switch the order of these, so if I made this the if statement, and I'll move this down below, and then make this the elif, or elif, it'll never hit this, this condition because 15 is divisible by three or five, and that is true. So um, that's why I did this and condition first, and then I'm going to go back. So run it again. But let's go back to 10. So um, for each of these numbers, I need to add them to a list. So I'm just going to call it divs, make it a list, um, divs.append i, divs.append i, and then I can do sum of divs, and it equals 23, which um, should match up, which it does. So let's try and run this. Um, I'm going to have to make it a function, obviously. It, it does not like something here. I mean, I want to return this. 
And I can, I don't need these print statements, so I'm just going to comment them out. And let's try running it. And it passes that test case. Let's see if it works. And it passed every test case. So um, that part I was confused about, I think that was just for different languages. But this is how I would do it. Um, we submit it. We can see other people's solutions as well. My guess is that someone did this in like a big like uh, list comprehension or something to make it a single line. But it takes a second to run. Cool. Yeah, this is similar to what I did. It looks so, so uh, you don't even need that second condition. So if it's divisible by three or five, it's also going to be divisible by 15. So I didn't technically need that part. Um, but, um, and that's because what's kind of nice about being able to look at other people's solutions. But let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.